Hello and welcome to Sunny Book Nook. Today I'm going to be talking about how I read so much because I've read 220 something books this year so far. Um, and I think it's partially because of like the pandemic and just personal things in my life that have allowed me to really dive back into reading. But I get this question a lot and like this is not as a means for me to like flex I sub- or like brag. I mean, I guess it kind of is <laughs> inherent to the explanation, but yeah, I, I just wanted to talk a little bit about it because you know, why not? Sharing the knowledge. Oh, also, I will get my September wrap up out um, eventually. I think I might just do a September and October wrap up together, maybe? I don't know. Is that what you want? Okay, regardless, let me just get into this video. I think it'll be kind of quick because it's not really like I have a variety of tactics. It's just that there's a couple of like habits and kind of things that I do on a regular basis that helps me just get through a lot of books. So number one, audiobooks. <laughs> I know this is said in every like how to read more video, but audiobooks are truly like a lifesaver for me because a lot of the time I spend is like just alone, chilling, as most people do. And most people just kind of like scroll on social media and do mindless things on their phone. And I think that you can do that while listening to audiobooks a lot of the time without even knowing. Just like while brushing your teeth or like doing your nails or whatever, I often like listen to audiobooks then. And I also like to kind of increase the speed at which I listen to audiobooks. I know for some people like that's just not something that they like to do, but that's something that I've always found more like appealing because it helps me like get through the story faster. Um, and I feel like when I listen to people read and I'm reading at the same time, um, like in class or whatever, when someone's reading out loud, I'm reading the same page. I always find that my eyes skip forward as the person is speaking. And I feel like that's how I feel listening to audiobooks on like normal speed or even like 1.5 speed. Like that's honestly too slow for me in most cases. So I try to match it up to the speed at which my eyes would read. Um, or even faster than that because I feel like I'm really bad in that I eavesdrop a lot Like I can't help but listen to other people's conversations even if I'm doing something I can't help but overhear things or pay attention to like lyrics or whatever when I'm trying to work so I Think that that helps when I'm like listening to audiobooks and doing other things because I can't help but pay attention to the story and obviously like I'm interested too. Another thing that I like to do while listening to audiobooks is play phone games <laughs> and that helps me get through a lot of stuff because it like helps occupy my hands and my eyes and my ears like all elements of my body are kind of my body and mind are kind of being used especially when I'm like walking on a treadmill or something and playing phone games and listening to an audiobook that is really like an ideal situation for me because it literally like takes my entire body sometimes if if applicable instead of listening to music or podcasts or whatever on your day-to-day -day kind of things or when you're just not doing anything like listening to audiobooks at that time is a really good way to get in reading so my second tip is to find like different places to read typically if i go out by the lake or into the forest or a living room or whatever if i move into a different space and i sit there and i'm like i'm gonna read this many chapters or i'm gonna finish this book that helps me kind of have a parameter of how much i want to read and at what specific location and that is really helpful i think it makes me have like this concrete goal while also there's like the fun element of going someplace to do something like it's like oh i have plans to go to this place to do something which is read i think like treating it like that helps me be committed to the plan of reading the third tip that i have is to download pdfs and like text to your phone I always have a bunch of different things in my iBooks. This is a good way for me to get through like nonfiction and theory because I can find a lot of works that are just available online. Like, when I'm like out and 
not really do anything and I don't want to just like be mindlessly scrolling through social media, I will just open my iBook app and read there. And honestly, same with like my laptop with iBooks on it or even with like PDFs downloaded to my desktop. Sometimes I'll be studying or whatever in the library or I'll be with other people and everyone has their laptops out doing things. And you know, to look busy, to look like I'm not procrastinating, I will just instead you know, read on my computer. <laughs> um, so that's another way that I try to get reading done. The fourth tip that I have in terms of, you know, getting through a lot of books in just terms of, in terms of like numbers, not in terms of like reading faster or reading like more of a specific genre is I like to read comic books and graphic novels because they're really fast to get through and that helps me kind of occupy my brain maybe like when I'm in the middle of something that's heavier or when I'm in between things or when I just want something that's like fast and easy that I can pick up and just like tear through. This is where subscription services like um, if or even if you have like a Kindle or something, I have the app Scribd which is a $12 a month I think subscription and it's like a library e-library situation and they have a bunch of mangas and comics and graphic novels on there and a lot of comics are like 20 pages long and obviously it's like a lot of illustrations too so I can get through like a comic in like five minutes or whatever and just kind of binge an entire comic series which I recently did and there's like a bunch of like, I feel like comics and graphic novels fit a lot of niches of interest and genres that people just, like, don't necessarily think of or maybe, like, understand. Like, there's a lot of, like, sci-fi, there's a lot of queer comic books and graphic novels. There's a lot of graphic novels about, like, coming-of-age stories and memoirs and um, aliens and skating and just, like, just a bunch of weird things. <laughs> um, and I think that that is something that more people should get into because it's way faster and it's still like the fun of reading a story, but you also get that visual element and the illustration styles and stuff, which are always really cool for me to look at, especially since like I do art and seeing how other artists portray characters and stories and how comics as an art form like conveys narratives it's just so interesting to me so highly recommend getting into those if you want to like kind of up your <laughs> goodreads number of books list or if you want to like just you know read more and i think it's another like that's that's an easy way to get back into reading or to get into reading um for people who are not like readers per se because comic books and graphic novels are so like low commitment um and short and easy um and it's just it's a good it's a good way to read without feeling like there's the like intellectual pressure of reading i suppose um so yeah those are like kind of the major tips that i can think of right now about reading more i know that like reading slumps are a real thing and are really difficult reading consistently and reading a lot is also really hard um, and you should be proud of yourself no matter how much you're able to read or how little you think you're reading it's good that you're reading at all <laughs> thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye